I was inspired to write this opera after having researched some of my family tree, which is rather extensive within the so southern Balkan regions as well as the northern Balkan regions. Slovenia, for example, on my father's side, and Macedonia on my mother's side. And I realized there was a lot of musical styles, a lot of similarities, a lot of differences as well. And the folk stories often were infused with a lot of folk song. And conversely, a lot of the folk songs had stories within them. So I thought, why not try to combine these and find what kind of characters I met most often when I was looking at these stories and songs. You always find a young woman who's about to be married very happily or very unhappily or unhappily married. You find usually a handsome young man who goes off to defend the village against the invading colonizers. And during the time of my opera, it's during the Turkish occupation, which covered most of the Balkan regions. And the name for that whole area is Rumelia, which is why I used this title, The Fiddler and the Old Woman of Rumelia. The idea of the old epic singer came about because there are old men, kind of the Homeric remnants, who sing tales and stories of the culture. Battles between the Turks and the Serbs, for example, in the 19th century. Uh, and these epics can last up to 12 hours. Everybody in the village comes and hears these old guys scrape away on their fiddle and sing. So that's one character in the opera. And the final character is the gypsy woman, who I got the idea from because gypsies uh, are the best musical carriers of tradition within these areas. Whenever there's a funeral or a marriage or a celebration of some kind, they would hire the gypsy musicians who could usually play the music better than the locals. So you have gypsies in Greece, in Albania, in Bulgaria, in Romania, throughout the whole Balkan areas who were known to be the best musicians. The idea of fortune telling comes about because yes, that's very much alive today. People do trust a lot on tarot cards and tea leaves and coffee grinds. Uh, it's kind of a contrast between the old folk traditions and the modern day lifestyle and you find a lot of conflicts, uh, interesting resolutions.